Hello there and welcome to this tech vlog. Now this is a, a new thread that I'm trying to start on the channel and hopefully I'll be talking about the obvious cycle tech, so things like lights and cycling computers when I can get my hands on them. Plus with my camera background I'll also be talking about camera tech that can help you to film your rides. When you're out and about on your bike filming your rides I imagine that most of you will be using action cameras and possibly even one of these little motorized pocket gimbal cameras. I personally use GoPros and this DJI Osmo Pocket and today I'm going to look at a replacement for both of these, the Feutech Pocket 2S. Now I'm not going to go into lengthy and vivid detail about the features of the Feutech Pocket 2S as I'm sure there will be many many other reviews covering just that. So today what I'm going to do is a really quick kind of overview of the features and then go on and talk about how specifically you can use it to film your bike rides. As you can see the Feutech looks very much like the DJI. They're both pocket gimbal cameras, which means they both have a motorized gimbal camera head for keeping the shots super stable. They both have a camera body, and then on that camera body is a touch screen. Now the Feutech comes in two flavors. They have what they call the pocket, which looks even more like the DJI, and then they have this one, which they're calling the wearable version. And they call it that because the head can be detached from the body and mounted separately. Firstly, let's have a look at the video capabilities of the Feutech. It has several shooting modes. It can shoot photos, video, slow-mo, time-lapse and panoramas. When it's shooting video, it can shoot 4K, 2.7K and HD and it can do all of those in all of the usual frame rates. The lens on the camera is pretty wide, but if you dig into the menus, you have the option of having a slightly less wide view, or what they call the narrow view. There's also a little slider, which allows you to zoom digitally to give up to four times magnification. The images it produces are absolutely fantastic. They're super stable, they're bright, they're clear, they're absolutely wonderful. In fact, this camera is a pretty good all-round Swiss Army knife kit type of camera and will do pretty much everything that you need it to do. So how do you use this camera to actually go out and film your rides? Well, in theory, it's all pretty simple and straightforward. You mount the camera head somewhere on your bike or on your person. You mount the camera body somewhere close to hand and you hit record. There's even a setting in the camera's menu specifically for cycling. Although at this stage, I'm still a little uncertain what difference that actually makes. To help you do this, the camera head is magnetic and so too is the back of the camera body, although these days most bikes are made of some kind of non-ferrous material, so I'm not too sure how useful that's going to be. So Feotech have supplied this little pocket camera with a very clever little magnetic quarter 20 mount that screws into pretty much any quarter 20 bike camera mount, and it also comes with a little bracket for the camera body that attaches using the Velcro strap. This is the camera head attached to the mag mount and what I like about it is that yeah, it just snaps into place and you don't really have to think about it. It's also pretty strong and pretty stable uh, and for my riding off-road uh, it should be more than enough but if you ride off-road you might get a little bit more vibration. Feutech have told me that this camera head has been designed to fit into the GoPro sticky mounts. So that opens up all kinds of possibilities, including things like the chest mounts. So in theory, it's all very simple and very straightforward. But what does the footage actually look like? Let's go for a ride and find out. All of these shots have been taken from what I'm going to call the camera's home position. 
basically the position the gimbal takes when you ask the camera to recenter itself by double pressing the function button on the camera body. What you're looking at are files directly out of the camera. There's been no additional post production, no stabilization, or any color correction. As you can see, for the most part, they are pretty stable. But when the camera head is mounted on the handlebars, there is a certain amount of rolling shutter, but this is obviously caused by the road jitter being transferred through the bike. The helmet, chest and out front shots all look pretty smooth. The wide angle setting is not quite as wide as the GoPros that I normally use, but the advantage of this is that they don't have quite so much wide angle distortion. I also like to get shots of me riding past the camera. Up until now I've been using the Osmo Pocket and the Mimo app installed on my Karoo cycling computer. With the Feutech Pocket 2S it is much easier. I can use the magnetic head to mount it pretty much anywhere and I can then either use the screen on the camera body or the Feutech Cam app on my smartphone to wirelessly frame the shot. Unlike the Osmo Pocket, you don't have to buy a separate Wi-Fi adapter. The Feutech Pocket 2S has Wi-Fi connectivity built in as standard. If, like me, you like to get several different angles when you're out riding on your bike, that's when things start to become somewhat less than ideal. Firstly, the camera head can only rotate 314 degrees and not the full 360 degrees. Ideally, when you place the camera on your bike, you want its home position to give you your main forward looking shot and then you can use the camera's function button to do your pans and your tilts. But because the camera head is somewhat limited, that might limit you as well. Hopefully this is something that can be corrected in a later firmware update. Similarly, if you don't mount the camera head more or less horizontal, so for instance, if you're using a chest mount, it will give you a fairly unusual shot when it's in its home position. Now you could correct this with the camera's function button to give you a better shot. And then when you moved around to get alternative shots and you pressed the recenter button, it would just give you that really odd shot again. My main concern is obviously the cable. Now, if you've ever had an iPhone charge lead, you'll know how fragile that is and how easy that is to damage. And if you damage this cable, well, that's this camera done. My other concern is when the head is in the magnetic mount, if it were to fall off and get caught up in your wheels or your chain set, it could damage those or worse still, it could cause you to fall off and damage you. Now, Feutech have assured me that this little mag mount can hold up to one kilo, which should, in theory, be more than enough for any ride. Now, I'm no Bluetooth expert, I'm no Wi-Fi expert, but surely there must be some way of putting a little chip in the camera head here so that it communicates completely wirelessly with the camera body. Sadly though, as far as this camera goes, this isn't something that can be corrected with a future firmware update. I'll be honest and say that I'm a fan of Feutech products. I've got a couple of their larger camera gimbals and they work fantastically. But equally, I do have to say that I have a couple of issues with the Pocket 2S. Firstly, it's a little bit too big to be truly called a pocket camera and secondly the limited range of movement on the gimbal head and the fixed home position could be improved. On a more positive note though the images it produces are absolutely fantastic, the wide angle lens is brilliant and I just love the way it makes getting my passing shots on the bike so much more easier than using the DJI Osmo Pocket. In my opinion, if you want to get super smooth images on your bike from a range of interesting camera positions, the Pocket 2S will do a pretty good job, especially if you don't need too many different angles in one go. You can fix it where you need it and then not worry too much about it. Well, almost. 
Thanks for watching.